In this next video, I was debating whether or not to go into some more advanced features, maybe take a look at the sampling menu up here, or something like that. Um, but I figured at this point in time, since we're still getting used to the hardware, I think it would be more beneficial to just talk about a random selection of useful shortcuts that I use quite often. Um, some things that uh, I didn't really have time to throw in other videos, but uh, are very useful and make the workflow very, very quick. So let's go ahead and, and talk about those. Um, to have some sort of organization, I'll do it by physical location on the hardware. So I'll start with this section up here. Now, let's take a look at this big knob. Uh, first of all, if nothing is selected in these buttons here, just turning this will change your time indicator, let you scrub through your track, and you can see it changing right here in the screen. If you want some finer adjustment, you can go ahead and press down on it and turn it. That'll give you some options there. And you can also do the same thing by holding down shift and turning this knob. That will give you that finer adjustment. Now, the functions of this knob are going to change depending on what you have selected over here. So if we have volume selected and we turn this, we can see that's changing the master volume. So that's going to change the, the volume of the entire project. You can do the same thing with swing. Now, I didn't really talk about this too much, but um, you, you can use this to add some subtle groove to your project in small amounts. Or if you turn this up to high percentage, you can get some kind of crazy effects with that. Um, now, you can also do the same thing with tempo. You can change your master tempo. Now, like I talked about, just press down and turn to get that finer adjustment. And that will work with any of these other ones as well. So some fine volume adjustment some fine swing adjustment. Got those options there. Now the really cool thing is that I like a lot is that uh, holding these down or using these while holding down some other buttons is going to change the options. So let's take a look uh, with this volume button selected. We can change the volume of an individual sound. So say I want to uh, change my snare volume. All I have to do is just play the snare, hold it down, and then turn this knob and that's going to change the sound volume. So that is cool there. You can do the same thing with groups. So if I have this playing back, I can change the volume of my drum group. And you can do the same thing with swing. That will change um, the, the swing of an individual sound or of a whole group. Um, you can do the same thing with tempo as well. Now the difference is you can't really change the tempo of a sound. That doesn't make sense. Um, so the people who ever made machine decided to turn that into changing tune. You can change the pitch of a sound. So some quick little shortcuts to change those options. And I find myself using those all the time, so I figured it would be worth mentioning those. Uh, so that covers it for this section. Now I'll go ahead and take a look at these buttons over here. Um, you may see me be using the mute option here. This will, uh, this will cut out the audio from a single sound or a group. So say I mute my drums. And I can also mute an individual sound. Now, if I have several things muted and I want to get them back to their original state, um, instead of holding on the mute button and then uh, pressing all these ones, you can just press one button up here, press all on. That is going to unmute all the ones you have muted. And alternatively, you can use none to mute all the other ones. So those are nice there. I use those quite a bit. Um, now we have our option to solo. Uh, the solo is basically the inverse of mute. It's going to, uh, to mute everything except the one that you press. So if I solo my group A, it's going to mute all the other ones. Uh, if I solo my snare, it'll mute everything except the snare. So there we go. Um, we also have this choke thing here, pressing shift and mute. And that is nice if you're working with samples that have a long tail on them. You can go ahead and cut those off. So cool. Uh, we have those things there. Um, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and move up to select. Um, this will let you select uh, different sounds if you're in keyboard mode. This is one use of the select button. See if I'm in keyboard mode for my snare. And I want to go to my hi-hat without exiting keyboard mode. Just press select my hi-hat. And then I can quickly jump between those different sounds. So some options there. Um, select will also let you uh, select multiple things using this multi button up here. So I can select several things and then like change parameters for those and then they will all be affected. And to unselect those or deselect those, hit none, and you'll be back to good. Uh, now you also have this events option here. I talked about this a little bit before, but um, pressing this is going to select all the notes that correspond to one of those sounds. Uh, so you can edit those selectively. Um, now let's see, we also have 
our duplicate button here. This is going to change depending on what context you're working in. Uh, you can duplicate patterns. I just hold down the pattern button. Now you can duplicate patterns, you can duplicate scenes. You can even duplicate sounds. So if I want to put this up here, press it and then press again. Now I have a snare. I can put snares everywhere. And that's nice. Um, same thing with groups. You can go ahead and duplicate and then put it there. And now we have exact copy. Uh, chances are, if you're duplicating a lot of things, you want to be able to delete them. So I just pressed shift and erase and then whatever you want to delete. So shift erase and that group, that'll get rid of the group. Or you can delete a snare. Let's do one of these. Shift erase and then delete those and those will be gone. So some nice things there. Um, let's see, we also have navigate and this is cool. Uh, I don't have a, a camera on the computer right now but you can use this to actually control what the software looks like. So you can zoom in and out and, and pan around, scroll around. So that is cool there. Um, I'll just play around with that and see what it does. Uh, pad mode, we use this to, to get into keyboard mode and you can also go ahead and change it to a fixed velocity. So that's nice if you're playing around. You don't wanna have that, uh, don't wanna have that velocity sensitivity. You can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, you also have the pattern button, which we've been using a lot and the scene button, which we've also been using a lot. And then um, I think one last thing I want to say is the mixing mode. I use this quite a bit. Hold down shift and then press sampling button. Uh, and I don't know why it says edit. I don't know what that does, but it's actually going into the mixer. So you can go ahead and start with this group tab. That's going to allow you to change the volume of your groups. Whoops, I'm actually on pan over here. So that's going to change the pan of my groups. And to get to volume, just tab over one. And you have options there. Now you can also go into sound and this will get you um, the mixing mode for individual sounds. So let's take a look here. I can change the volume of any of the sounds or the panning of them. And that will be a good feature there. Uh, if you have more than eight, go ahead and move over one tab and that will let you work with those. And uh, the nice thing is, like we talked about, if you change uh, the volume using this other method we did, it will also change it like this. So you can see the changing there, just like we were, we were used to. So that covers everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that you see these shortcuts and you think they're cool and useful. Um, I know it's a lot to take in, but hopefully some of these will improve your workflow. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you on the next video.